Dr. Tidiano, how do other comorbid conditions like liver disease or migraines or high blood pressure or high cholesterol will affect your choice on the dose and the type of hormone replacement therapy that you are going to choose? When deciding on hormone replacement therapy, I always look at the whole situation of the patient, medical history, what she wants, and we have a shared plan and discussion for her to be comfortable to take hormone replacement therapy or non-hormone replacement therapy. There are few conditions that we need to dig more and discuss more about because of the fears and prior data that we have with patients with migraine, with aura. We don't give synthetic hormone replacement therapy because it can worsen the migraine. And I think uh, individualized plan and uh, a deep discussion with the patient and show the evidence-based and feeling comfortable and answer to their fears, I think is the way to go.